Caribbean, in St. Lucia, in the world. He just completed, unofficially, unratified, he has completed swimming from Barbados to St. Lucia. It will be ratified by the Marathon Swimming Federation once all the documentation is submitted. But Cameron has just swam from Barbados to St. Lucia. He touched it. What we noted, what we witnessed was actually Cameron touching land in the rules. It allows for the swimmer, if they cannot stand safely on a point, to actually just touch a piece of rock or piece of land. And we got to witness him actually doing it. We're not making any progress to the right. Well, unfortunately, there was a very swift current. So it was taking him in the opposite direction of Sandy Beach. So what we did was we, and that's what you do in open water swimming, in marathon swimming, ultra marathon swimming, is you make allowances for that. So that way the, they can complete the swim successfully. This is actually denoted um, as the longest channel swim in history. And um, the importance of this is just to show that no matter what you put your mind to, you can get it done. No one has, has ever heard of anyone attempting or trying to swim from Barbados to St. Lucia. As far as the length of the swim, Marathon Swimmers Federation has already deemed it um, the longest channel swim attempt. It will be the longest channel swim in history. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Come, come, come.